I'm Allie, and this is my son, Raphael. I am hoping to learn American Sign Language over the next 60 days. Yay! Uh. When Raphael was born, he failed his newborn hearing screening at the hospital. At six weeks old, we were given the diagnosis that he has profound unilateral hearing loss in his right ear, which means he is completely deaf in his right ear. And that means there's a lot of question marks. He does have normal hearing in his left ear, but I've talked to parents all over the country with children with unilateral hearing loss, and their experiences are vastly different in terms of communication. Some kids do totally fine with just one working ear. Some kids rely completely on American Sign Language as their form of communication, and some lie somewhere in between. When we got that first diagnosis from the audiologist, the experience there was a little bit dry. You know, she sort of gave us the diagnosis and then immediately tried to sell us a certain brand of hearing aid. She sort of presented it as like, this is the only solution. She sent us to an ENT and we didn't have a great experience there either. We felt sort of very lost after that. We decided to get a second opinion, so we went to Children's Hospital, and we found an audiologist who gave us the same diagnosis, but talked to us more about different options. We felt more listened to. And the very next day, I got a phone call from someone reaching out to me saying, you know, we received your son's diagnosis, and we're gonna put you in touch with a group called Parent Links, which is a community for parents of children with hearing loss, so you can connect with other parents who are going through the same thing. It's been incredible to be enveloped by this amazing community of parents and educators and people who are advocates for children with hearing loss. That's one of the reasons why I'm really interested in learning ASL, is just to give him another tool, another way of communicating with him. I just want to give him every opportunity to succeed. I think he's extraordinary. At the very beginning, I started taking some online ASL lessons, and at first it was very basic. It was just sort of like words. So after about a week and a half of online, I'm learning a lot of vocabulary words. I was sick last week, so I know that I was sick. The hard part for me right now and the frustrating is like putting it all together and trying to create sentences because the grammar and the sentence structure is very, very different. Every time I look at my kid and I see that he knows a sign for more. More? You want more? or I think about how, yes, it might be difficult, but I wanna keep going and I wanna be able to help him communicate more. It was really hard learning online only because I didn't have anyone to sort of like feedback with. And then I actually started working with an ASL tutor, Lonnie. We just had our first meeting and it was really intimidating at first. As soon as I saw her, I you know, said, hi, I'm Allie, nice to meet you. You know, and she was happy that I, I knew that. But then I just sort of forgot myself and started talking to her. I said, we're gonna go to Kate's desk right now and get some paperwork. And she had to remind me, I'm deaf. But she made me feel at ease right away because she could tell that I was very nervous. I did a lot of writing things down today because I was a little overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. I know that's okay sort of at the beginning, but I wanna be respectful of Lonnie and not sort of have to write everything down all the time. It was really great because actually having one-on-one -on -one time to go back and forth and practice my signs with an actual person who knows the language, it was just like a whole nother world of learning. So I'm gonna quiz myself on some of these flashcards that Lonnie and I have been working on. I will not look, but I'll show you. So this sign is daughter. So I'm about halfway through. One of the things I really need to start working on now too is to actually have conversation. And that's where it gets a little bit tricky because ASL is its own language. There's two different things. There's signed English, which is do you want a banana or an apple? But in ASL, that same sentence would simply just be apple, banana, which. That's a really rudimentary example, but a lot of things like that are very tricky to sort of get the grammar and moving things around into sentences. This is Lonnie. She's my tutor for ASL. It's important that I have a tutor because part of the grammar is your facial expressions. So it really helps to have another person. One of the first things I learned how to say is, how do you say? So I was trying my hardest to be able to communicate only using sign. It's been a little over 60 days since this whole endeavor started, and I'm feeling really good about my progress. I feel like I'm finally starting to like put sentences together. I'm getting really excited to start like actually speaking in ASL.
now that I've had sort of a taste for it, I'm really falling in love with the language. I feel like this is something that's going to bond us and it's going to make him understand that sort of no matter what he needs, he'll always be able to communicate with me. Unsolved is on a new channel, and now your part. Subscribe, Subscribe here. here. That was my part.